So today's recording is going to be a bit different because I am clearly not at my normal place of living. The glare is out pretty bad. So I'm going to try and make this uh, recording as seamless as possible because I won't be able to really edit it because I don't have my editing software. But I just want to at least get something out today because it's Sunday. Um, it's about how many? Probably 50 degrees right now out here in Ohio, which is where I'm at, um, because of work reasons, uh, and I'll be here until, uh, the 15th, so next week I will still be in the same hotel, hopefully I'll have something, I have to stop going in front of that thing, something, uh, different, uh, around those regards, maybe I'll walk outside for this next one, but kind of chilling just right now. Um, I just got back from the hotel gym. Unfortunately, they don't really have any gyms uh, of the one that I go to out over here. Uh, so that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, however, I still managed to get a pretty decent workout. So uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, they just have like dumbbells and like a few treadmills and like two, what's it called, uh, ellipticals and then a, a bench. So did my best with what I had and I'm probably gonna have to make use with some of those um mainly gonna be using the treadmill because that's gonna be helping out with the weight loss the most but uh it is what it is so last week I mentioned about eating what to eat all that stuff uh and I briefly talked about fast food and how fast food is just a bane on the existence of those who are trying to lose weight, especially for those who have eaten fast food for most of their life. So one thing that I wanted to talk about was my way of going about eating fast food because uh, fast food is an everyday, every life kind of thing. Uh, and for those who are losing weight, it's going to make it hard because it's tempting when you live next to a McDonald's or you live next to a Taco Bell or a Chick-fil-A or something like that. And um, it makes it – you start to have those cravings of, man, I really want to have like a cheeseburger or like fries or uh, wings or whatever else you may get from said places. Um, and then when you have that, it either A, ruins kind of what you're trying to build up to, or B, creates a snowball effect, which ends up stopping you from what you're trying to do. Um, but the one main thing is this, is that it's okay if you fall off the wagon, so long as you get back on it, right? And one of the things that I did was I realized that I'm always going to want to go and eat fast food. I want to go uh, and get some of these things and, like, get, like, the snacks and whatnot. So I need to tell myself, well, what is it that's making me want to go out there? And it's not really more of, like, oh, because I just love McDonald's cheeseburgers or the McDonald's fries, something like that. I just love, like, a good, like, Crunchwrap Supreme. It's mainly the convenience of buying something ready-made rather than taking the time to make the thing yourself because you have to defrost the meat, you have to boil the water, you have to season everything or else it's going to be bland. You have to make sure that you don't overcook it or else it's going to be dry. Undercook it, it's going to be raw, especially if it's chicken, then you're going to get sick. So it's easier to just go to a place, drive up, pay 10 bucks, have your meal, eat it, and then call it a day, All right? But then you don't realize that half of the stuff that you're putting into your system is ruining everything that you're trying to build up to. So what I tried to do is take the time to look into some of the things that I'm putting into my system when I go to get fast food. Uh, and before I start picking and choosing some of the things uh, that I noticed from like the menu and all that uh, one thing in particular of all places that serve this that really kills a lot of the calories that you're trying to burn off are the fries 
uh, or anything fried in general, but the fries specifically because it's a side. It comes with almost every meal, burger and fries, chicken and fries, uh, freaking whatever. I don't know if uh, freaking what's it called? Uh, Taco Bell has fries, but if they do, I'm pretty sure that'd be a pretty decent side for them, right? The fries, on average, from what I've seen, according to, like, what McDonald's has here. I'll look it up real quick. And if you're wondering why I'm recording off of my phone uh, instead of my laptop, it's because my laptop doesn't have any recording software, even though it does have a webcam. But I'm going to do it off my phone anyway, just see how the quality comes out. Uh, McDonald's fries calories sits at about 378 for a medium size that is quite a lot for nothing that's a lot for nothing because then the amount of protein that it has is four grams four grams of protein whereas if i were to look up the mcdonald's cheeseburger in terms of calories it's roughly the same just a little bit less 313 so like what i say 378 so uh, 65 cal less calories, but it has 15 grams of protein. So you get 11 more grams of protein out of, uh, a McDonald's cheeseburger than you do out of the fries. So what would you rather have in this case? Burger, a cheeseburger and a side of fries with a drink or two cheeseburgers, uh, and a drink where... A cheeseburger and fries and a cheeseburger and a cheeseburger are roughly going to be about the same in calories, but a cheeseburger and fries is going to give you 19 grams of protein, whereas a cheeseburger and cheeseburger is going to give you 30. So pick your poison. You just have to play it smart. And then you have to think about the drink, right? What do you drink? Do you go with a soda? Do you go with a sweet tea? In the end, you're going to have to pick a diet soda or in best case, water. Just buy the two burgers a la carte and then just head back to your place and then have water, right? But if you really want to have that craving, soda typically is going to have to come in your in a diet form. Don't drink it too much, obviously. Like, people have weird things about, like, aspartame. I still drink uh, soda. I personally think, I think I mentioned it in the last video. I may or may not have. Um, but um, Diet Dr. Pepper is probably the best diet soda that I've had. Uh, it's the closest tasting. Uh, and so if they have it available at some places, I'd rather get that than like Diet Coke, which doesn't taste like anything at all to me, or Diet Pepsi, which tastes way different than regular Pepsi. Uh, but McDonald's, I wanted to use that as an example just to showcase the fries, right? So like, if, let's say like Jack in the Box, for example. Um, Jack in the Box, I don't know if Jack in the Box has fries, or no, sorry. I was thinking Taco Bell, but I wanted to look up Jack in the Box because of the fr curly fries, right? Jack in the Box. Curly fries. It says here it's about, for medium size, 428, so it's even more. That's kind of crazy, right? And Jack, Jack in the Box in general, as much as, like, I would say it's a pretty, like, in terms of, like, flavor and options that they have, it's a pretty good fast food place. It's probably one of the worst places to go to in terms of getting, like, quality fast food. Things that are going to help you or at least mitigate the damage that you're doing to yourself when you go out to get fast food, right? Probably the best place, in my opinion, to go to for fast food stuff is Chick-fil-A. Uh, mainly because uh, all the meals are chicken, but you have to be careful with that as well because remember what I said earlier is that fried food is what's going to get rid of, or not get rid of, it's going to bring back all those calories that you burnt throughout the day, especially if you worked out before or after. Um, so my favorite thing from Chick-fil-A, the spicy chicken deluxe, unfortunately, something you can't really have or seldomly have because spicy chicken deluxe because it's fried uh unfortunately 
uh, it's going to add a lot of calories to it. So if we look at the Spicy Chicken Deluxe, Spicy Chicken Deluxe, 540 calories. So it's actually more than the McDonald's cheeseburger, which is kind of crazy. But uh, that was weird. But um, the amount of protein that's in it is significantly more, according to this. It's a whole chicken breast. I would doubt that it's going to be consistently what it shows here, according to carbmanager.com. Oh, I might as well just go to Chick fil A's website, right? 33 grams of protein. That's not bad. So Chick-fil-A, obviously, you get, with the Spicy Chicken Deluxe, you get more calories, but you get also more protein. So you're essentially doubling the protein that you would get from McDonald's, uh, but you get the additional 200 calories on top of that. So you got to really pick and choose. Uh, I'm not going to look at the fries because we already established that the fries are probably going to be just about the same level. But what about the just the grilled chicken sandwich? Because that's the one that I recommend getting, especially if you're going to Chick-fil-A. It is less cal it is less protein, 28 grams of protein, so you're losing 5 grams of protein. But it's 380 calories. So it's still more than the McDonald's cheeseburger. If anything, it's on par with the McDonald's fries. But... Um, you get 28 grams of protein out of it, whereas with the McDonald's fries, you get four. The McDonald's cheeseburger, you get 15. So at the cost of five grams of protein, you also aren't consuming an additional 200 grams or 200 calories uh, by going the grilled route, right? Oh, but you want to have a side. So the side that I usually like going for are the grilled nuggets. So the, why? Because the grilled chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A, again with the fried version, is going to be uh, significantly less in terms of the calories. I like going for the 12 count. 200 calories, so it's still less than the uh, sandwich itself because it doesn't have the bread, the lettuce, all that stuff is not added up. 38 grams of protein. So with the chicken sandwich, and the 12 count nuggets grilled the nuggets both the sandwich and the nuggets are grilled you get about 28 38 so that's 66 grams of protein from for as much calories as many calories as the chicken the spicy chicken deluxe you get double the protein by getting the chicken san the grilled chicken sandwich and the grilled nuggets and at the same cost calorie wise as the chicken the spicy chicken deluxe and then of course if you want to drink get like a diet soda or something or a diet lemonade i know they have or it's a light lemonade it's only like 50 calories or something like that and then when you get sauces all their sauces are really high in calories as well typically i like going for the buffalo sauce one because it's still pretty flavorful if you like the vinegariness of uh, buffalo sauce um and each packet of the buffalo sauce is 50 calories as well so if you get two that's an additional 100 calories okay big whoop but at least you're adding flavor to the grilled chicken sandwich and the grilled nuggets so if you're willing to make those sacrifices at the very least make them right plain and simple is it okay to eat a crunch wrap supreme or a munchy meal sure every now and then but don't have it every day uh, because then all it's going to do is make you crave uh, more of those things and then you could spiral out of control or something like that. Uh, but in the end, the best thing to do is to just prepare your food beforehand. Make sure you cook everything that you have in your house. Don't let it go to waste. Second best, fast food is fine, but make sure that you're picking the right stuff. I have my method. 
uh, I shared it here just uh, to bring it out into the light, make people see it if they do, whatever. Uh, this helps me. Maybe it'll help you. Uh, other than that, this video has gone on for about 15 minutes. Um, I haven't been able to weigh myself for this week because there is no scale uh, at the gym here. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have an update for that. But do know that I do plan on using this hotel gym while I'm here uh, to help me out. Uh, and I'm trying to do my best to make sure that I'm not just going around spending all my money on things that's just going to not work out for me in the end. So with that, I'll catch all y'all later. Peace out.